You are absolutely right. Islam was very, very strongly research-minded for a time, till about one year, one thousand, let's say. About 1000, there was the big battle between the Sufis and the, and the theologians. The theologians won that battle. And the result was that the theologians put an embargo on independent thinking. And that's what stayed Islamic science from, well, it was the death of Islamic science. The theologians were just uh, too much. Theologians, as you very well know, killed off Hal Halad, yes. and uh, they killed off all sorts of other people, Sarmad and so on, who were against them, against uh, not really the, the theologians as such, but they were accused of being anti-establishment, uh, anti-state and so forth, and uh, then the kings put them to death. So that's a very, very bad period of Islamic history. You see, Islam doesn't have any specified theolo theologians, but the theologians were still very, very important because you got the stamp of the approval from the seminary, the religious seminary. And so how do you keep control of the population? By branding your enemies as uh, non-Muslims. That's what they keep still doing.